This sentence intrigues me. You don't want a normal job, so you want an abnormal job? Of course not. What you really mean when you say I don't want a normal job is that there is a mismatch between what you currently experience and what you feel is right for you. And it appears that no normal job offers you a solution because you do feel stuck. So what we want to do in this video is move away from this mindset that doesn't offer us any solutions towards an action-oriented plan, something that helps us to live the life that we want to live without feeling stuck and restricted. And that solution is surprisingly simple. There is no single step to bring us from an overwhelmed person who is stuck in a job towards one who lives the dream career and the dream life. It is an iterative process and that is what I dedicate this channel to. So if this is the first time for you here, welcome to the community where we create courageous careers. And one thing that helps me personally is to connect to like-minded rebels who don't want to be restricted by social norms. If this is you, subscribe to the channel and comment also with your story below because it's an inspiration for us all. It all keeps us moving along. Now let's dive into this simple solution and in order to do that, we need to understand why we feel the way we do, why you don't want to have a normal job. Here's what happens to most of us. You find a job, maybe even a job that you like, based on your education, family, social pressures, or in the best of cases, your interests and strengths. Then you form an environment around it. After all, you need to live in a certain place to get to work and still have some free time left. Your co-workers and colleagues, they become your friends, and that's good. And maybe you deepen the ties now. Maybe you even find your life partner in this environment and you form a family. And all of us have hobbies and interests and our jobs pay for that as well. You now have the perfect life and you feel stuck. Why? Well, first of all, you can't move. Your job requires you to stay in a certain place. Also, your friends are somewhat tied to the things that you do in life now. And you have responsibilities towards your family. You have to provide for them, so your job pays for that, as well as towards your own interests and hobbies. And even if you now decide or realize that the job that you're in or the career is no longer as satisfying as it used to be, there is nothing you can do about it. Because everything is tied to this one job and that's where you are stuck. And this is where our solution comes in. In this example that we just looked at, your job acts like an anchor to everything else you do. But what if we could make your job a propeller instead? So let's figure out what type of environment you like to live in. And then maybe look at the type of friends that you wish to connect with. Personally, I love to connect with friends who click the like button because it's the easiest and simplest solution to spread this message further. Anyways, now we have to ask a different question. What type of career would support that link between the environment and our friends? And maybe you go a step further, you add your family to it. You ask yourself what line of work would help you to sustain the type of relationships that you want to have. You still have your hobbies and interests. And maybe the line of work can help you propel those interests forward as well. But even if not, you can still ask yourself what line of work will help you to align that environment and the friends and the relationships that you want to have and still allow you to pursue your other interests as well. And this is how you create a career that aligns with your life. Okay, let's be real here for a moment. This search for that perfect job has just become a lot more complex and complicated. But most of us never go through the process, even if we end up to change our jobs and we realize that suddenly our environment and the friends and the relationships and sometimes even our hobbies change, we never dare to approach the subject from the other end. This is the simple solution though. I recently did a survey on LinkedIn asking people what they expect from a successful career. And interestingly enough, 70% of people didn't say they wanted more money or more time. They said that they wanted to have a career that better aligns with their life. So I encourage you, I dare you to look at those areas of your life and ask yourself how your work could 
propel those dreams forward rather than anchor them in one place. This doesn't have to be a radical process. It can be gradual. It could be two or three changes over a number of years. And that's okay because now you know that you're moving forwards towards a life that you truly want to live. And it also means overcoming some fears. So start here. And also don't forget to comment below with your own story. It's an inspiration for us all. That's what keeps us going. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.